And what up, this is your boy, The Solo Traveler ORD, and thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell while you are here. I appreciate the support. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me, let me know exactly what you guys think about the video. So, I'm back with another review on the Danica uh, Marie. And uh, basically, you guys seen the video yesterday in reference to, um, I guess, the first part of the video. And um, and this is going to be part two of the video that I'm, I'm initially reviewing. So, because this is going to be a long one, I want to cut my intro short. We're going to jump into the video to see what is being said. So, let's, go, let's jump into it. All right, you guys, let's move ahead along to number two on our list as far as a reason why a lot of women are mad at men for exploring different options. And number two is, um, well, they simply cannot compete with those other women. Jesus Christ. Oh, really? Do tell. Um, why is that? I don't know about you all, but there's nothing worse than defeat without being able to compete. That means that I am not even able to redeem myself. I can't go out and win you back, quote unquote, steal you back. No, those nope. other women, they're able to give to you things that I just simply cannot. I cannot beat her at this game. I can't beat her in the femininity lane. I can't beat her as far as um, being submissive towards you, loving on you, being supportive towards you. I can't beat her. That is correct. She, she cannot. Modern women cannot. Reason being, we all know the reason why. The American culture that we are dealing with tell women that you should never submit to a man and they make that word to be such a dirty word as if like it is something terrible they make it seem like as if being submissive is like basically a man is going to leave you locked up in a room and beat you that's what that's how they made the word seem like which is incorrect so number one the, the culture the society is teaching women to be a man <laughs> so and of course men don't want men you know make them gay so you know those that are heterosexual that's not what they're looking for so that's number one number two there is there is so many changes in the culture such as a lot of the women are out to to get over on men so that's one of the biggest uh situations issues but and also they're, they're not taught to be feminine women of course you guys seen the video that i've done on african women uh on uganda and all the other places and most of those women are raised to be wives at from from a young age they are being trained to cook to clean to do everything uh, a domestic a, a a traditional wife would do so with that being said that is that is the difference that is that is what's going on this is why these women western women once a man goes overseas they cannot compete so if i can't beat her or i can't compete with her then i know without a shadow of a doubt that i can't win you back so when you guys are going overseas or you're exploring different options all together, you know, the mere fact alone that I'm not even going to be able to get you to return back. Oh, I'm upset. If you go out and you get a taste of that, there's a strong possibility that I'm going to miss out forever and for good. Right? So for example, you guys, let's say I have a cookie business. Okay. Just bear with me. Okay. Here we go. I have a cookie business. My cookies are not the greatest and my customer service is just crap. Okay. <laughs> but I still feel like I deserve to be in business. I still deserve customers. That's being entitled. I still deserve money. I deserve uh, the recognition, the publicity, everything. I deserve it all. But you guys come to my cookie shop and you're like, you know what? These cookies, they're kind of bland. And you know what? Not only are they, they bland, but they're a little bit stale 
and not only are they bland and stale, but the, the person that took my order had a bad attitude, act like she didn't want me here, you know? So, uh, you know what? I think I'll just go to the cookie shop across town. Yep. And they go to the cookie shop across town, and guess what? The cookies are fresh out the oven. They're soft. Jesus Christ. You know, they melt in your mouth like butter. The customer service is great. Ow. It's like, damn, I, I like this. They actually make me feel like they appreciate me being here as a customer. Yes. <laughs> and we know that feeling for those of you that actually traveled, that actually had have experienced this with other women in other cultures and other countries. Ow. You know how that whole thing feels. And it is hard to come back to the States and deal with what, what is here in the States because of what we've actually experienced in another country. What she is saying is all facts, no pincer. In reference to what it is in the United States and overseas. And on top of that, I get to get delicious cookies. Oh yeah, I'm gonna come back every week. You know? Yep. But the cookie shop across town gets wind of it. They see how you're bragging about those cookies across town and how everything is so freshly done. Hold on, let me stop right there. We're not bragging. We're telling other men word of mouth so that they can go experience a good restaurant instead of going to a lower quality, lower class restaurant. And the customer service is so great and you know the the cookies are so delicious well i know damn well um my cookies are not going to get any better than what they are i've been so accustomed to making my cookies this way and treating my customers in this manner I, mm -mm. i'm still the best Probably. This is how they can think. Like I'm, my cookies, even though my cookies are stale and they're bland and they're dry, you know, it is what it is. I'm still the best. So therefore I'm not changing, I'm not budging. In all actuality, you don't know how to change or you don't want to change, it's just stuck in your ways. You're used to giving the bare minimum and receiving the support. Blame that on society. I blame that on simps yourself that go around and telling these women that they don't need to do anything they don't need to change and that they're perfect they're not holding them accountable for a lot of the stuff that they do so i blame the simps i blame media i blame everything within the society because they tell women you don't have to compete other women tell other women women they don't have to compete and then men are so you know going through dry spurts of not receiving you know sexual intercourse that they are willing to do anything they can to have sexual intercourse so they'll tell a woman anything anything they they know that they would love to hear which messes up the game which messes everything up in the states receiving the attention still having customers but those those co that, that that cookie shop across town guess what they're continuing to evolve develop grow their business come up with better recipes, everything, while you're just stuck and stagnant where you are because you refuse to do the necessary work to improve upon your business. Get customers to come back to your cookie shop, right? Because after all, you're perfect just the way that you are. And anybody that says otherwise, they're just a hater. That's right. <laughs> but nonetheless, I hear about this cookie shop across town with the fresh baked cookies and, you know, the great customer service and the delicious cookies. I hear about it. So what do I do? Instead of improving upon my own cookie shop and my own cookie business, I'll hate on them. I'll say, How man, well, I would give good customer service too if I had X, Y, and Z. But see, y'all customers, y'all don't deserve X, Y, and Z, so why should I give it to you, right? You big After dummy. all, I'm the prize, so you should just treat me like X, Y, and Z anyway. I should never have to do all of that for you to come to my cookie shop. <laughs> you know, they, they're just desperate. That's why they make good cookies. <laughs> and if that's the case, if they're desperate, then I like that desperation, and I'm desperate for what they're trying to sell me because 
all of that works out because in the end customers i'm not saying are, are always right but customers will choose what is good what is a good product they will continuously buy they will continue continuously buy a good product and they will not buy horrible product we know how this is as being a consumer especially in the states they're just impoverished and they're looking to expand their business so they can make more money. That's why they got good customer service. Instead of saying, you know what? Let me invest in my business. Let me invest in myself to make this more likely to have the reception that I'm looking for. That's but just, do we do that? Just too no. hard. Instead, we'll condemn the next person for going to the cookie shop across town and we'll try to slander the cookie shop across town and you know just make them seem like they're just so beneath us but really i just cannot compete with them i can't compete with their recipes i can't nope. compete with their customer service And so I know damn well nobody's going to ever come back to my cookie shop after going and getting the cookies across town. Which is extremely true. Like I said, brothers, when you go travel, it's going to become an addiction to keep going, keep leaving the United States and start dealing with different people. Not only the people, but seeing how cheap, cheaper life is in these different countries. You know, as far as spending, you get to see how far your money goes. And then and then each time you get your passport stamped and like it's another addiction just to get another one and another one and another one. You know, so, you know, just the whole experience is just an awesome experience to have for those of you, you that have never uh, started on the journey of traveling and so forth. You know, it, it becomes to be an expensive um, hobby that you have or lifestyle that is. So make sure you have your money up for when you, when, you, when you embark on that journey. And that infuriates me. And what I will say to that is this, ladies. Instead of being upset and hating, how about we just do the necessary work to once again compete? If you know that men, a certain type of men at that, you know, the providing, protecting, leading, teaching, masculine men, if you know that they're looking for a certain type of treatment, they're looking for a woman to play a certain type of role, why don't you just do that? Why don't you just become what they're looking for? See, we want all these things out of a man, but we're not ready and willing to be the type of woman that that man deserves. How dare you? How dare you say that? How dare you to even even bring that up? Because that is just too hard for them. The easy route is to shame, guilt, and tell men that you're less than, that you're horrible. You shouldn't be dealing with them. Tell the foreign women that they are beneath them, that they're not good quality. <laughs> That's the easy route, as you can see, that the women have taken. <laughs> or that man would be looking for. We don't qualify ourselves, right? And so we got to get in the game. You, you can't hate on the next person for playing the game and winning. Get in the game, you know? Instead of getting mad and upset, thinking that all hope is lost and, oh, man, they're not going to come back and, you know, rightfully so if they don't because, hey, it's only so much mistreatment you can take. Yep. I'm going to cut it there because I don't want the video to be extremely long. But but let me know what you guys think about all that she is saying. Is, is it true <laughs> or is it, or is this all cap? Let me know in the comments below. And also, I'm going to leave her link uh, to this video in the, in the comments below. I mean, in the uh, description below. So you guys could go ahead and take a look at that as well. But like I said, hey, she, she spits a lot of good information. She is a, a male advocate. So go check her out. Go check out her page. Go, so, go subscribe. Go check out her live. She has she does a lot. She's she been in, in this game for a long time. And I don't see her leaving anytime soon. She's actually one of the few few females that have been doing it for a long time that have been consistent. This is your boy, Solo Travel ORD. Thanks again for checking out this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell, and I am out.